So I mentioned in my No Sew so T-shirt mask video that you can turn the bottom half of that T-shirt into DIY T-shirt yarn. But then what do you do with that? Well, today I'm going to show you how you can make this cute little finger knit necklace. A fun DIY gift that you can make without having to go to the craft store. So first you'll take the bottom half of your t-shirt and lay it out flat and then fold it up like this, about an inch shy of the other edge. Then you'll cut one and a half to two inch strips up to and through the first fold, but not all the way through to the top fold. And don't worry if the edges look a little ragged, we can fix that later. When you've made all your cuts, unfurl it like this onto your arm and start from the bottom edge. Cut diagonally up to the first slit on the left side. Then cut from the right slit up to the next one on the left. Again, cut from the lower right slit diagonally to the left slit. And if this is blowing your mind, I have a very detailed blog post about the process. I'll have that linked down below. So keep cutting from the lower right slit diagonally up to the next slit on the left. And when you get to the very last slit on the right, cut diagonally up and off the edge of your t-shirt. Now you have one long continuous piece of t-shirt and it's time to turn it into yarn. Remember those ragged edges I talked about earlier? Well, if you gently pull on the t-shirt yarn, the edges will curl under like this, hiding the rough edges and turning it into t-shirt yarn just like you buy at the craft store. As you pull, you can start winding it into a ball like this. Pull and wind and pull and wind until all of your t-shirt yarn is in a neat little ball. Then you can start finger knitting. To begin finger knitting, drape the yarn across your palm, then weave it between your fingers like this, in front of your middle finger, behind your ring finger, in front, around, and behind the pinky, in front of your ring finger, behind the middle finger, and finally, in front of your index finger. Now you have one loop on each finger, but to knit, we need two loops. So repeat the weaving process again to get two loops on each finger. Then you can knit by bringing the bottom loop up over the top loop and up and off your finger. Push the loops down and weave again. Two loops on each finger and knit. And that's all there is to finger knitting. Keep pushing down your loops then weaving on a new row and knitting the lower loops up and off of each finger. Hey. And once you've knit a few rows, you can tug on the end that's laying across your palm and see your progress. and continue knitting until your piece is as long as you want or you've almost run out of yarn, and then bind off. To bind off, take the loop off of your index finger and put it onto your middle finger. Now you have two loops and you can knit. Repeat for all of the remaining loops. And once you have one loop left, then thread the tail through that last remaining loop and fasten off. And you're done! You've got a cute little t-shirt yarn necklace. 
Just tie the ends in a little bow behind your neck and you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you make a t-shirt yarn necklace, tag me on Instagram so I can see it. Thanks for watching. Bye.